Hello children and welcome to part 2 of bones and muscles. Now if you remember in the previous part we spoke about the different parts of the skeletal system. We spoke about the skull, we spoke about the backbone, then we spoke about the ribs, the arms and legs and only the joints we left out. So in this part of the chapter, we will be focusing on what are joints and we'll move on to meet somebody special called as the muscle man. So what are joints? Joints firstly help the bones of the skeletal system to move. It's because of these joints that we are able to move the different parts of our body. And joints are nothing but places where two bones are joined together. So if you see this image here, these two bones are joining here and this is called as the joint. So this region is called as the joint. Can you name a few joints in your body? Go on, think. Which is a joint in your hand? You have elbows, wrist, fingers, all of these are joints. That's why you're able to move them. And these bones are held together by long stretchy bands called as ligaments. So this red stretchy band that you see here is nothing but a ligament. And there are many joints in the body and various joints allow different kinds of movements. And only the skull is the part that doesn't allow complete movement. If you remember in the previous part, we said that only the lower jaw is the movable part of your skull. No other part of your skull is movable. Can you open out your head or something like that? No, right? So none other part of your skull is movable. Now these joints are of different types. What are the different types of movable joints? You have the hinge joint. Then we have ball and socket joint, we have the pivot joint and we have the gliding joint. So we look at each of these in detail one by one. First is the hinge joint. When we see the hinge joint, it's a very long joint. So this is a hinge joint and it allows back and forth movement of that particular joint. For example, your knees and your elbows. If I have to explain this better, this kind of hinge is present in your doors, right? And it moves only in one direction, correct? Suppose if this is the hinge placed this way, the door can only open this way. It cannot back fold. Same way, can you back fold your knees or your elbows? It can only move forward and back, right? You can't move it 360 degrees. So only back and forth movement is possible with the hinge joint. Then we have the ball and socket joint. Here, one bone is generally rounded like a ball and the other one is hollow into which this ball-like bone fits in. So we have a hollow socket on one bone and we have a ball on the other bone. So they fit into each other like this. Now this allows movement in all directions, 360 degree direction. For example, your hip and your shoulder. Try moving your arms 360 degrees. You can move it 360 degrees, right? This is because of the ball and socket joint present in your shoulders. Next, we have the pivot joint. What is pivot? This is how a pivot looks. If you see pivot joints, it allows movement from right to left and up and down. That is the characteristic of a pivot. For this, the example is the joint between your skull and your neck. It allows your head to move from left to right and up and down, right? That is because of the pivot joint. And last, we have the gliding joint. What is the gliding joint? Gliding joint is generally when one bone can slide over another bone. Like this, one bone slides over the other bone. And this generally allows side to side movement and forward backward movement. Example for this is your wrist and your ankle. Try moving your wrist, you can move it up and down and sideways. Same with your ankle, right? Try moving it along with me. So move it right, move it left, move it up and down. You are able to move it, right? That's because of the gliding joint. So the four joints are hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. 
now let us meet muscle man let's talk all about the muscular system of our body now if you see bones they cannot move all by themselves without support they need something to move them that's why we have muscles attached to bone that can pull to make our bones move at the joints every movement in our body requires muscles without muscles we cannot move our body and we have 640 muscles in our body can you imagine the sheer number of muscles now because there are so many muscles the muscles make up nearly 40% of our body weight so 40% of what you weigh on the weighing scale is because of our muscles and these muscles are made up of tough elastic tissue and these muscles are attached to bones by tough bands which are called as tendons if i have to do a quick little memory juggle if you remember in part 1 bones attached to bones with the help of ligaments whereas muscles attached to bones with the help of tendons so please never forget this bone to bone attachment is ligament muscle to bone attachment is by tendons so let us see how exactly the movement of muscles is muscles can only pull at bones they cannot push a bone so only if muscles pull bones can move they cannot push at a bone so to move bones in a single direction you need at least two muscles for example if you have to move your lower arm you need two muscles called as the biceps and the triceps so how does this movement exactly happen if you see this image here these are the biceps and these are the triceps okay so when you raise your arm that is in this picture if you raise your arm the biceps become shorter so you can see this bicep is becoming shorter when it become short you call it as contraction or the biceps will contract they become short because of which it is pulling your hand up whereas at the same time if you see the triceps if you observe the triceps here the tricep is long right biceps will contract triceps will relax if you have to put your hand down what do you do it is the opposite the triceps will contract whereas the biceps will relax if you can see here this triceps is becoming shorter and the biceps is becoming longer so this is how just to move your hand in one direction you need two different muscles and the two different muscles of your hand are biceps and triceps so biceps is in the front triceps is at the back so generally when you pull your hand up you can feel your biceps right you see i have muscles you show your hand right that is nothing but your biceps whereas leave your hand down you can feel the back side of your hand being tense that is because the triceps have contracted so i hope you've understood how movement of your hands in a single direction requires two different muscles not just that children we even have different types of muscles in our body what are the different types of muscles we have certain kinds of muscles which are called as voluntary muscles voluntary means in our control so these muscles control the different parts of your body and they are generally in your control so they are called as voluntary muscle there is we have some muscles like our stomach intestines and muscles in the wall of our blood vessels which are called as involuntary muscle which means they are not in your control and they work on their own and we have the third category of muscles which are called as the cardiac muscle now this is the most miraculous muscle in your body it never gets tired and it is present in the muscles of your heart it keeps pumping from the time you are born till the time you are dead so they never 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 get tired so these are miraculous muscles in your body called the cardiac muscles which are again not in your control they are involuntary and work on their own throughout your life so with this we have even said hi to muscle man and we complete the chapter let's do a quick recap of what we studied in part 2 So we spoke about the different joints in our body and we said that joints are places where two different bones meet. 
and we saw that there are different kinds of joints based on how they move we saw that there was hinge joint then we saw there is ball and socket joint we saw pivot joints and we saw gliding joints then we met muscle man we spoke about our muscular system we saw that nearly 40% of our body weight is made up of muscles and we went to talk about the different kinds of muscles what were the different kinds of muscles we saw voluntary muscles which were under our control like our hands legs shoulders all of these then we saw involuntary muscle which are not under our control like the stomach intestine and walls of our blood vessels and we spoke about the miraculous muscles in our body which are cardiac muscle which never get tired and they are also involuntary and not in our control so with this we finished this chapter bones and muscle if you have any doubts please get back to us please share the video and subscribe to our channel thank you